May you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If I could have everyone please bow their heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today to thank you for four wonderful years that you have blessed us here with at CHS. We thank you for the good and the bad times, the faculty members who have desired nothing but the best for us, our friends and our families who have helped us along our journey at Colbertville High School. We thank you for letting us share many funny, sad, and embarrassing memories that will never be forgotten. This year for sure has given us many challenges, but the bond and strength you have given our class to overcome those challenges will never be forgotten. I pray that as we go our separate ways, you bless each of us and continue to give us the strength and determination to reach our goals. Never let us forget where we came from and always let us call Colbert our home. We thank you for this chapter and pray that we continue to always seek your guidance as we move into our next. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. As I speak for the class of 2020, I would like to take a moment to remember two wonderful people, Michael Lorian and Justin Trimble. We're both sons and friends to many. Both were kind-hearted and caring individuals. I think we can take two things from the both of them, and that is to enjoy life and never take anything for granted. As we are celebrating the end of something truly amazing and the start of something new, I ask that we take a moment to remember two classmates that couldn't be here with us today. If everyone could be, please bow their heads. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Macy Jones, Senior Class President, and I am very excited to welcome you to Cloverdale High School's first ever virtual graduation ceremony. It may not be what anyone expected, but I know we will conquer this too. We've done it before, I mean, remember when kids ate Tide Pods and now we've learned to store detergent behind glass to curb the cravings? Or how about in 2016 when killer clowns jumping out of vans was a thing? Now we can all be weary of big, creepy vans. This too shall pass, and we will become stronger because of it, I'm sure. At this time, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for every person who has put in work to make today happen. While other schools simply put aside graduation, we as Cloverdale students have not been let down. First, a huge thank you to every faculty member who has put in countless hours of their own time to make this graduation seem as real as possible. Thank you teachers for simply asking us how we are doing, telling us how much you miss us and showing us how much you care. To our senior class leader, Mrs. Mellick, thank you. Thank you for making sure everything has run smoothly, smoothly while keeping our spirits up. And last but not least, a big thank you to our parents. This day is not only about us graduates, but also something our parents have pushed us to achieve and have waited our whole lives for. If your family has been like mine, they have been a huge support system and have motivated me to stay positive. So from the class of 2020, thank you. Classmates, graduation is the last time we will be grouped together as high schoolers. It's bittersweet, yet I, yet I feel blessed to have grown up with you all and to be standing here talking to you while you're on the couch. The class of 2020 has a very large number of 12-year students. This means most of us graduated kindergarten here had field days in elementary and middle school, attended eighth grade graduation, made memories during homecoming week, and have experienced the community bond Cloverdale has to offer. Even though we've made unforgettable memories throughout our school days, we've missed some crucial events and arguably have missed the best of our senior year. However, I could never forget all the good times we did have together this year. Some I could never erase from memory were our cheer blocks in homecoming week, or winning the spirit stick, or our senior get together in the parking lot where we reminisced and played hide and seek like school kids. Another favorite could definitely be our fork prank. However, little did we know we would be pranked right back with the news we only got one senior prank and down the drain our long line of terror went. <laughs> 
Oh, and how could I possibly forget when Mr. Sailor fell when stealing our beach ball in homecoming week and I happened to be the only one who caught it on video? I really should have charged with how many people wanted that. I know some of us imagine dancing our way out of here like they do in High School Musical, but the truth is, while being gone from this place and my classmates, I've realized how much I took my high school career for granted. Cloverdale truly is a special place, and the class of 2020 definitely blazed our path here. However, soon life will move forward. Some of us will go to college, others to trade schools, some the military or straight into the workforce. No matter will, where, we will get there and soon. And I want to wish you all luck on your endeavors because each of you has made an impact on me and I know you will continue to change others' lives too. Once again, thank you for joining us to celebrate the graduating class of 2020 and welcome to our virtual graduation ceremony. This is a daily reminder by Nicolette. This is a daily reminder to be yourself, to not care what people think, and to know that you can be anything. This is a daily reminder to love yourself, to not hurt yourself, and to not work yourself up. This is a daily reminder that you are beautiful, that you are amazing, and that you will succeed. This is a daily reminder to have hope, to have faith, to know that everything will be okay. This is a daily reminder that you have made it so far already, that you haven't given up, and that what you're doing is right that you're going to be amazing. Don't give up, keep holding on and believing. Thank you. Welcome Clara High School students, parents, faculty, and fellow graduates. It means so much to our class that you have all gathered here today. As we celebrate together, I hope that we may reflect on the past and take a look into the future. Class of 2020, we will be hard to beat. As we gather here, I can't help but think about how truly wonderful our class is. We have not only endured, but we have also overcome so many hurdles along our journey to this final walk across the stage. We have suffered through the devastating losses of two of our classmates, Justin and Micah, along with dealing with the effects of the coronavirus as it unexpectedly cut our time together short. Our struggles through such unfortunate and uncertain times has not only brought us closer, to, closer together, but it has gifted us with the ability to persevere. However, our time here at Cloverdale Community Schools has without a doubt been sensational. We have experienced moments that we will never forget. I mean, come on. How could we ever forget the time that Mrs. Hoffman showed her cat persona on the balcony, in the gym, during homecoming week, in front of everybody? Or how about the time that Mrs. Malik's preserved shark fatefully met the ground and its container shattered all over the floor? How about when our boys finally won a volleyball game during homecoming week and when the girls' powder puff game proved that working hard can actually be fun and reap its benefits? We can't forget our time in class either with honestly the world's best staff and faculty. Like the times that a planned lesson turned into an educational life conversation, which personally were my favorite moments in the classroom. These times are what we will remember forever, hold dear to our hearts, and cherish as we grow older. As we graduate today, it is now our time to start the next chapter of our lives. We are no longer the future generation. We are the current generation. Have you ever thought about how we're the only class with 2020 vision? With that being said, with my 2020 vision, I can see that we will be very prosperous in our endeavors to come. I can see that we have been preparing our whole lives for this next chapter. I can see us building towards our success. But what can you see? As we leave here today, with confidence, I can say that we have established a very good reputation for ourselves within the school but now it is time to establish ourselves in the world. Thanks to our parents, guardians, grandparents, loved ones, and our teachers, we are now prepared to move on and take on whatever challenges come next in our lives. Fellow graduates, I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are. Not all schools offer such an advantage. 
Here, we have had a high degree of academic excellence, and whether you intend to continue your education or not, you will benefit from what you learned here. I did not become valedictorian by sitting around and hoping it would happen. Work ethic, determination, and courage will lead you to where you want to be. This is the key to find the happiness and success in life that you may strive for. This will assist you in the journey from graduation to be a responsible and productive citizen. Although we're all very excited at this moment to be finished with the chapter in our lives, the same fear that we felt as freshmen still looms in our stomachs. The fear of the unknown, the fear of failure, and the fear of the future. We all have the capacity of doing something great. We have already proven that through our attendance here today. Don't ever underestimate the power that we have to be successful. And don't ever take for granted the opportunities that we have been given. Finally, I want to thank my family, my fellow classmates, and the entire Cloverdale staff for their contribution to my education. To my fellow graduates, as we leave here today, I encourage you to thank someone too. Class of 2020, let's show the world what it means to be a Clover. Just as Charles Dickens said, the pain of parting is nothing when compared to the joy of meeting again. Thank you. I think it is safe to say that I am not the only one who has been holding their breath for this moment. The moment that we got to walk across the stage, receive our diplomas, and get out of this place. We have been saying for years that we didn't have 2020 vision, and what do you know, we were right. We would have never guessed that the precious few moments left of our senior year, the icing on the cake that we have added one small layer to year after year, would turn out like this. As much as it pained me to see my calendar pop up with reminders that I was missing the FFA district contest, my daily internship at the police department, the awards banquets, prom, and of course the traditional graduation, the one thing that kept me from falling apart was looking ahead to the future. That's what everyone always tells you, isn't it? That while we may be devastated now, we have better things ahead. That high school isn't the time of our life, it's not the end, and it certainly isn't the peak of the mountain that we have all been climbing. For those afraid of heights, you should know that looking behind you is never a good idea. And while I tried to conjure up my fondest memories from my time here, I wasn't so sure that I had many. Sometimes we have to make a choice between memories and opportunities. So to continue our trek up this mountain, we need to make sure we have a few items to look forward in our new direction. First, I pray that after walking out of those doors for what may be the last time today, that you take your dedication with you. Don't stop working towards your goals now. There are plenty of times this year where I wanted to quit. I was mentally and physically exhausted, had been burning both ends of the candle, and let's face it, calculus really did a number on me. I am sure that many of you experienced a similar time, where it felt as if you had done all you could and that it would just have to be enough. Here's some advice. If you need a break, make it short. Rest, recharge, but ladies and gentlemen, don't ever let go. The one time you loosen your grip, you may never grasp your future the way you once did. So keep striving. I promise you that your achievements will eventually be rewarded. Your ambition, whatever it may be, can be reality. Next, I wish upon you that you either have or develop the confidence to get you there. We have made it this far, so who is to say that we don't have it in us to push further, to conquer our dreams and more? I have personally learned that hard work and perseverance can, at times, only get you so far. When you run out of strength and you start to feel weak, your knees start to tremble. That is when you close your eyes and imagine yourself there. Sometimes, it's truly up, leaving it up to fate or holding on to your faith. So go, sharpen your vision, manifest your purpose, and remind yourself that it isn't always the most qualified. It's the most dedicated. Lastly, from the most sincere place in my heart, I pray that each and every one of you find happiness in the most genuine form. 
because you can leave here with your dreams and desires and you might be self-assured and courageous. But once you reach that point, this peak of your own mountain, I pray that you are satisfied. I pray that you realize happiness doesn't come from an income, it isn't the type of car you drive, and it certainly isn't how many people worship your face only to be holding a knife behind their back. It isn't how many followers you had on Instagram or how many people wanted to be your partner for that group project that only one person ended up doing anyway. And it's not how many ribbons and trophies you have under your name. So my advice to my fellow seniors and to the rest of the attendees is to stop obsessing over other people's opinions. Life isn't meant to be a competition. I pray you reach a moment in your life where you feel happiness from the sun shining on your face, from seeing your family gathered around the kitchen table, and from the pure joy you feel from finally being able to work in your dream career. I pray you feel that you truly have it all. With the vision of your goals in sight, a pep in your step, and the knowledge that your social status in high school isn't going to give you another gold medal to put away in a dust covered box, I can say with full confidence that the 2020 graduates of Cloverdale High School are moving on to bigger and better things. Whether you are moving to college this fall to become tomorrow's leaders and teachers, you have committed yourself to the United States military, joined the next generation of healthcare workers, are learning a trade, moving states 638 miles away, or maybe you have no clue. Don't worry, we've all been there. Just know that at any time, you can switch it up. You might change as a person, that's okay. You may discover that what you had planned out isn't what you thought it would be like, that's okay. Just know that it's your decision and any growth is better than none at all. Your dream is out there, so grab a hold and don't let go. Do not lose hope and never let anyone shame you. Life isn't impossible. People break the rules all the time. So be the first at something, be the last, be the 15,678th person to do so. But never listen to those who will try to tear you down. As the fantastic writer Shel Silverstein puts my thoughts into much better and shorter words, listen to the mustn'ts, child, listen to the don'ts, listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts, Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child, anything can be. If at this point you are still listening, thank you. I, too, have a short attention span. To conclude these words that you may ponder upon, I'd like to say this. I hope that no matter where you end up in life, how deep you have filled your pockets, or how high up that ladder you climb, that you never lose sight of yourself or others, and that you never forget where you came from. As dangerous as it may be to look down at what you left behind, I hope you carry the people with you that have held your hand through the good times and the bad. And when it's all said and done, I hope you can have your cake and eat it too. After all, it took us 13 years to bake. Thank you. Never in a million years did I expect life to fly by in a blink of an eye. It seems like just yesterday that I was a little kid again wearing my Bobby Jack monkey shirts, Dora the Explorer flip flops, and my plaid knee knockers, all while rocking some cool bangs and a lipstick fli filled flip phone. There's no doubt in saying that I was a stud back then. Although I wish I could turn back time, I can't, and neither can you. The clock never stops ticking, so all we can do is cherish the moments right now and the memories we have made along the way. Side note, in case no one knew, my favorite memory is when I chipped five of my teeth and my friends <laughs> made me say stupid words that I couldn't even say right. Here's some advice for the future. Wear a mouth guard. <laughs> but that's all besides the point. The point is what COVID-19 and this pandemic has taught me which is that we can't take this time we have for granted because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. We have to savor each moment and each second that is given to us. If someone would have told me that us seniors wouldn't have got, gotten to experience our last of everything, then I wouldn't have taken every single day more seriously and slowly. I'm not going to lie. 
I couldn't wait until the end of fourth period every day because that's when I left for my internship at the drugstore. I spent more time studying and focusing on my academics than hanging out with my friends and that I may not ever see again. I never had the chance to be a kid because I was so wrapped up and consumed into what my grades had to be or what my test scores had to look like that I forgot to even take time out to realize what was happening around me. I took a lot of things for granted that I wish I shouldn't have, and I regret a lot of it. Being in quarantine has helped me realize and reflect on what things I need to change in my life to help me succeed, and I hope all of you can take something away from this pandemic too. I'm so proud of everyone here and what we have accomplished together, not only as a class, but as a family. We've had many memories together, like winning Powder Puff, the Spirit Awards, all four years, need I remind you, rocking cheer block themes, packed out sport, sports events, and prom, of course. We've had a blast these past four years, and I'm so grateful that it was with you guys. I'm honored to have been part of something very special here at Cloverdale, and I can't wait to see what everyone is going to accomplish. I know you all will do great things. There's no doubt in my mind. I want to take this time to thank all the faculty members, teachers, parents, and the administration leaders. We couldn't have done it without all of your support and kindness that has been shown toward us. Without all of you, this wouldn't have been possible, and our gratitude toward you guys is above anything you could ever imagine. You guys rock, and I thank you again for doing everything you possibly could and can to help us not only succeed, but grow into much more than we ever thought possible. With all of that being said, I want to end by saying that graduating is not the end. Instead, it's the beginning towards the next step of our lives. It's a chance for us to do things we haven't done before and to take a leap of faith. It's a chance for us to mend those relationships, thank those we haven't thanked, and to draw closer to God. Just remember, no matter what we may have gone through in this life, he is always here for us. In conclusion, I just want to say that we did it, guys. We did it. I wish you all the best of luck in whatever you choose to pursue in life. I know you all will do amazing things, and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. Couple cane poles sitting down by the creek Lines in the water watching those bobbers Seeing that red sun sink Mama's on the porch yelling supper's hot Y'all come and get it We yelled five more minutes At 16 it was 12.03 Standing at her front door Katie's dad said midnight, but we needed just a little more Yellow light flipping on and off, interrupting that good night kissing We wanted five more minutes Time rolls by, the clock don't stop I wish I had a few more drops of the good stuff Yard line, just the coach and me. After we lost a ten to nine, and I cried, man, next time to get in here, I'll have to buy a ticket. K 
Can't you give me five more minutes? Time rolls by, the clock don't stop. I wish I had a few more drops of the good stuff, the good times. Oh, but they just keep on flying right on by like it ain't nothing. I wish I had me a pause button. Moments like those, Lord knows I'd hit it. And give myself Paul said, there's angels in the room All the family gathered round Knew the time was coming soon With so much left to say, I prayed Lord, I ain't finished Just give us five more minutes Time rolls by, the clock don't stop I wish I had a few more drops of the good stuff they just keep on flying right on by like it ain't nothing I wish I had me a pause button Moments like those, Lord knows I'd hit it Yeah, sometimes this old life will leave you wishing That you had fire Coming soon 
With so much left to say I prayed Lord I ain't finished Just give us five more minutes Time rolls by the clock don't stop I wish I had a few more drops Of the good stuff The good time Class of 2020 I would like to personally congratulate each one of you on earning your high school diploma. Each one of you have the potential and the opportunity, regardless of your future role in life, to be among those who contribute through their hard work and influence to improving the human condition in all of its aspects. The only obstacles to your assuming that rightful role are the obstacles you create for yourselves in your actions or in your minds. So, as you go forward in life and in your career, keep your options open. Don't allow yourself to be trapped by pressures or preconceived notions that you or others may have about your future role in life. Success in life derives at least as much from having the confidence and courage to exploit opportunity as it does from having made wise early choices. I urge you to bring real passion to your life and work. It and your enjoyment of what you do. It will inspire those around you to enhance theirs. Finally, please keep a grip on your definition of what is really important. I think most of us have experienced this situation or opportunity the past two months with COVID-19. Items of importance are all in the eyes of the beholder. Please ensure that you carefully examine your definition of important. Richard Carlson once wrote, one of the mistakes many of us make is that we feel sorry for ourselves or for others, thinking that life should be fair and that someday it will be. It's not and it won't. When we make this mistake, we tend to spend a lot of time wallowing or complaining about what's wrong with life. It's not fair, we complain, not realizing that perhaps it was never intended to be. And with that, I wish you congratulations and a life of success in all its dimensions. Thank you, class of 2020. It takes so many people to provide an education for our young ones. We, we would like to thank all those who had a part in these young people's education. Teachers, administrators, classified staff, bus drivers, especially senior class sponsor Mrs. Mellick, and anyone else that I haven't mentioned. You deserve our round of applause. Thank you. Will the graduating class of 2020 prepare to receive your diplomas? Deshante Loretta Allen. I would like to thank my sisters and my grandparents for pushing me and being there when I needed you. I would also like to thank my mom for being there to look up to and guide me when I need it. I love you guys. Alexandria Jean Anderson. I would like to thank my mom and my stepdad for believing in me through everything. You guys helped me change my life around. Sarah McKenzie Baker. I would like to thank my mom and dad for letting me to pursue my passion and my brothers and sisters for keeping life interesting. Many people have contributed to my growth and I'm extremely thankful for that. I am beyond blessed to have such a strong support system throughout these years. Shelby Janelle Barr. I would like to thank my mom family, 
and teachers. Raymond Trowner Bates. I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional support, my brother for helping me find my passion, and my coaches for teaching me the importance of hard work and dedication. Gail Evelyn Baugh. I want to say thank you to my mom and dad for always pushing me to do the best that I can be. I also want to thank, say thank you to my grandma for being my best friend. Love you more. Alexis Jasmine Bennett. I would like to thank my mom and dad for helping me get this far, for helping me down the right path and showing me all the love they have for me. Thank you for always being there for me when I needed you the most. I love you guys. Corey Austin Bennett. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always being there when I needed them the most and helping me become the man I am today. Abigail Jean Bernard. Thank you to my mom and dad for helping me through the years. You've pushed me to excel and to get better grades throughout school. Also, thank you to Taylor and Sydney for being the best sisters I could ask for. Lauren Elizabeth Branneman. I would like to thank everyone for helping me get to this point in my life. Madison Ann Burton. I want to thank all of my parents for everything you have done for me. Thank you to my siblings for being there for me and my grandparents for supporting me. Thank you all of my teachers and that you have taught me the most valuable of everything. Emily Brianne Byford. I would like to take the time to thank all of my family, my teachers, and most of all, God for being there for me and pushing me to be the best, best version of myself that can I possibly be. I couldn't have done it without you. Natasha Brianne Carter. I would like to thank my parents, grandparents, and siblings for always supporting and believing in me throughout my entire school career. Devin Robert Cashin. I want to thank all of my friends and family. Without them, this would not have been possible. I want to also thank all of the staff and administration for their hard work. Finally, I want to thank my mom and dad for their endless support in everything I do. Macy Lee Couch. I would like to thank my mom and my grandparents. A special thanks to my dad for being my biggest role model. I love you all. Dason Allen Douglas Cox. I would like to thank mom and everyone for helping me get to this point in my life. Right there, Dason. Kaya Renee Daub. 
I want to thank my mom for pushing me to be my best and being there for me. I also want to thank the rest of my family for always supporting me. Nola Ann Dean. I want to thank my family, Miss Dix, and my faith in God. Trey James Dickinson. I want to thank God, first of all, my mother, father, teachers, and siblings. Jordan Lee Dover. I would like to thank God, my church, the Langdons, my mom, my dad, my family, and all my friends. James Christian Dunbar II. I would like to thank my mother for always being there for me throughout my school career and doing everything she can for me. I would also like to thank Mr. Tyler and Ms. Mellick for being amazing teachers and mentors and keeping me on track for graduation today. Diamond Naray Foster. I want to thank my mom. My mom has been my biggest supporter and without her, there's a chance that I would not made it this far. I also want to thank Zeb for stepping in and playing that male figure in my life and supporting me just as my mom does. Gunner Charles Feuder. I would like to thank my grandparents, mom, and the rest of my family. Janessa Haley Gaston. I would like to thank Mr. Turk for everything he has done to help me get where I am today. Seth Martin Geiger. I would like to thank my family for giving me the support and guidance to make it to this point. I would also like to thank my dad for pushing me to become a better role model and good person. I would also like to thank Mr. Tyler for always pushing me harder and help me to be prepared for my future. Morgan Michelle Goss. Thank you mom and dad for your endless support I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. To my grandparents, you guys are my rock and inspiration. I wish I could be there. I wish you could be here with me, Papa. Love you all. Gabrielle Cape Hamilton. I would like to thank my parents, Lisa and Jagger for sticking by my side through everything and pushing me to be the best version of myself. Jacob Wayne Hamilton. Thank you to my parents for continuously to push me over the last 12 years. I also want to thank my sibling for always helping me with my venture. Finally, I want to thank God for blessing me with what all of I have. Jolie Lake Hamilton. Thank you to my parents for continuing to push me the last 12 years and my siblings for always helping me with my ventures.
Cody Michael Hansford. I would like to thank my mom, grandma, and grandpa for not giving up on me and pushing me to do my best these past four years of high school. I could not have done it without you. Gabrielle Reese Hardy. I want to thank my cousin Emma and Justin for pushing me and helping me the most when I did not feel like it. Tobiah Samuel Harrell. I would like to thank all of my teachers and all of my family members for everything. Samantha K. Harrison. I would like to thank my parents and grandparents for supporting me through school and life. Jonathan Reed Havener. Thank you to my mom and dad, along with all six of my sisters. <laughs> Jeremy Charles Hess. I would like to thank both my parents for raising me properly, my teachers for aiding me in my education, and the Lord for giving me such a great life. Deshaun Lamont Highball. I would like to thank my mom and dad. I also want to Thank basically anyone who has stayed on me to grind it out and get it done. Alexis Renee Hilbert. I am deeply thankful for everyone who believed and supported me throughout my journey. Thank you for teaching me to be the person I am today and for giving me so much to be grateful for. Joshua Ryan Hughes. I would like to thank my grandmother, Elizabeth Betsy Cox, for seeing me through all of life's challenges. Thank you for pushing me to the rank of Eagle Scout and with all of my surgeries and muscular rehab. Keely Almeida Hughes. I want to thank my mom for always believing in me and supporting me. I would also like to thank my brothers and sister for always being there for me. I love you guys. Olivia Lee Johnson. I would like to thank my mom and dad for the countless hours of helping me with homework whenever I needed it. I also want to thank my little sister for always being spontaneous with me. Macy Joanne Jones. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me in everything I do and giving me the best three sisters a girl could ask for. Rudy Lee Jones. 
Thank you to Mr. Hoffa and Mrs. Dobb for keeping me on the right path and working with me. Thank you to my dad and stepmom, along with my mom, for helping me graduate. Caitlin Page Kendall. Thank you to my parents for always believing in me, to my grandma for showing me whom I am shamelessly, and to my grandpa for teaching me it's great to be crazy. I love you guys. Kamalani Elizabeth Lauer. I want to thank my mom and dad for giving me an opportunity to start a new life here in Cloverdale. I also want to thank my sisters for pushing me to be my best. Grace Ann Leonard. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I could not have done it without all of your love and support. Autumn Lee Llewellyn. I would like to thank my mom and dad for supporting me in everything I do and always being there. Grace Alexandria Long. I would like to thank my parents, sister, and everyone who has mentored me along the way. Micah D. Lorian. Jacob Ryan Martin. I want to thank my mom and dad for being there for me whenever I needed help. I also want to thank my grandparents for waking me up every morning. Alexandra Blaze McCracken. I want to thank my parents for all the opportunities and for the wisdom they have shared to prepare me to be the best that I can be. My parents are the greatest source of inspiration because they have taught me that passion will get me places. Ariana Marie McCracken. Thank you to my parents for being my alarm clock every morning for school. I also want to thank Google, Red Bull, Copy and Paste. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. Isabella Marie McKinney. I would like to thank my family for continuously fighting for each other and staying so strong throughout our battles. You are the reason I am who I am today. Philip Blake Meek. Thank you for all your continued support over the years and Thursday night at B-Dubs. I promise to do well in college and not live in your basement my whole life. Jacob Morgan Metzger. I would like to thank my dad for giving me the chance for a fresh start at Cloverdale High School. I also want to thank my grandparents for making sure that I always had a ride to school. Megan Elizabeth Miller. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and pushing me to be the best person that I can be.
Camry Lynn Monnet. I want to thank both mom and dad for helping me through all my years of schooling, along with some of my favorite teachers, Mr. Wilcon and Ms. Grimes, for making school a lot less miserable. Skyler Joe Monnet. I want to thank my mom and my family for getting me through the good times and the bad times. Lucia Moreno. I want to thank the Shrum family for making their house my home. They are the best host family that I could ever ask for. They've always helped me, supported me, and have made this year nothing less but amazing. I also want to thank the Cloverdale Nation for treating me as part of their family and welcoming me in. Thanks to all the teachers. They really helped me, and I had so much fun with them. Shout out to Mr. Walter for putting up with me. And last but not least, to my family for giving me the opportunity to live this experience and for always supporting my decisions of coming here. Harley James Pelham. Thank you to my mom and dad. Thank you for making me who I am today and teaching me the right from wrong and showing me how to be a kind and genuine person. I also want to thank my grandparents for showing me what it's like to be thankful and grateful for everything I receive and have. Joanna Nicole Pleak. I want to thank my family and friends for pushing me to get done with high school. Without none of you, this would have been possible for me. I would like to thank everyone at Cloverdale High School for making my senior year one to remember and making graduation possible. Anna Michelle Powell. I would like to thank my mom and dad for their support over the years and for always encouraging me to be the best version of me. I would especially like to thank my grandma Sherry for everything that she has taught me and for being my number one fan. Fani Alexandria Price. I would like to thank everyone who has pushed me to be the person I am today. Lakin Abigail Price. I want to thank my mom for never giving up on me, and I want to thank my grandparents for believing in me and telling me that I could do it. Chance Montana Ray. I would like to thank my guardians and my mom for helping me through everything. I truly do love you guys and appreciate everything you've done for me. Caden Bryant Receiver. Caden, come. I want to thank my parents for always encouraging me and pushing me to do my best. I love you both. Mackenzie. Maxine Riddle. I want to thank my mom for making me con continue countless hours doing homework at the kitchen table. I also want to thank my stepdad, Tony, for pushing me to do my best. Joshua Wayne Roach. 
I would like to thank my family, coaches, and teammates for keeping high school so memorable. Cody Allen Robbins. I would like to thank my dad and sister, Sheena and Brandy. I would also like to thank everyone who has helped me get to this point in my life. Matthew Tito Roker. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for pushing me to go to school every day and make sure I keep up with everything I needed to do. I also want to thank all the staff at Cloverdale High School for having patience with me and getting me through all the bumping. Kiera Leanne Rogers. I would like to thank my family for being so supportive through all the pros and cons that I have been through. I would also like to thank all the staff and teachers who have accepted me like everyone else and stuck with me through it all. Taylor Renee Royce. I would like to thank my mom for always believing in me and listening to me. I also want to thank my dad for always taking care of me and making sure I had everything I needed. Anthony Jean Chivarelli. I would like to thank all my family and teachers that have helped me graduate and make it this far. Thank you especially to my mother and my grandpa who never gave up on me and always pushed me to do my very best. Ezra Walker Sharp. I would like to thank everyone for helping me get to this point in my life. Casey Lynn Shedron. I want to thank my mom and dad for always supporting and believing in me. My grandmas for always being here for me and loving me. And most of all, Papa and Poppy, I wish you could be here. I love you. Tierra Jaylee Shepherd. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always pushing me to do my best. There was never any pressure and because of that, I succeeded at my own pace. Thank you for always believing in me and helping me through school. Madison Renee Shoemaker. I want to thank my parents for always having to deal with me with all my ups and downs and just being there for me and cheering me to the finish line. I love you guys. I also want to thank Mr. Barnes for listening and talking to me when I had a bad day. Thank you to Mr. Langdon for being my coach and teaching me life skills that I will always hold on to. Thank you to the many teachers of making me laugh and that I will always remember Cloverdale High School. Thank you for the memories. Samantha Lee Shrum. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for always having my back. I couldn't have done it without you. Grandpa, thank you for being my number one fan. Cloverdale Schools, thank you for an amazing 12 years. To everyone else that I have met along the way, I am truly blessed and I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. Michael Jeffrey Silcox. I would like to thank my mom, stepdad, my dad, and my stepmom for pushing me to do better as a better person and a better student. Haley M. Smith. I would like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me in all my endeavors and for their encouragement through everything. I would also like to thank my brother for giving me all the advice that I ever needed.
Jacob Michael Smith. I want to thank my family for helping me push myself and be a better student. Adam Jean Statner. I would like to thank my mom, dad, brothers, and sister for always believing in me and helping me to believe in myself. Eric Wayne Statner. I would like to thank all of my friends and family for supporting me through high school. I would especially like to thank all of my teachers for putting up with me throughout the years. Caden Wiley Stevens. I would like to thank God my parents and my siblings for always helping me with anything that I needed in school and leading me down the right path. Mackenzie Ray Stoltz. I would like to thank my parents for the endless support they have provided me and for always pushing me to be my best. Grandma and Grandpa, Thank you for always being there. I love you all. Thank you to all my coaches. Allison Mary Taylor. I want to thank my family, but I especially want to thank my brothers for being my biggest supporters. I love you guys. Haley Grace Thomas. Thank you to my parents for showing me what unconditional love is and to my brothers and best friends who made life worth living. Justin Fallon Trimble. Morgan Riley Trivet. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my stepdad, and one person that helped me get to where I am today, my mamma Sandy. Also, for the people that couldn't be here in person, my grandma Pam and Papa Jerry. Cassie Elizabeth Wade. I want to thank both my parents for being my number one fan and always pushing me to do my best. Also, shout out to the greatest little sister ever. Thanks for making every day so interesting, Kirst. I love you all. Jonathan Scott Wagner. I would like to thank you, Mom, Dad, and Diamond. Tiffany Faith Wainscott. I would like to thank my mom and dad for never giving up on me and always showing me the right thing to do in life. I also want to thank my sister for always being there for me through it all. Danielle Alita Welling. I would like to thank my parents for their tough love and ever-ending support and also my husband Gavin for being my best friend. Thank you God for these people. Isaac Lee Witt. I would like to thank my mom, my little brothers Blake and Keith, and my stepdad.
Trevor Lee Woods. I would like to thank my mother, Jennifer, and my brother, Austin. Mr. Linton, it was with great pride that I certif certify to you these seniors have met all the standards set forth by the state of Indiana. Mr. Linton, will you accept the Cloverdale High School class of 2020? Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Seniors, as we started the school year nine months ago, I'm sure you were excited to begin your final year of high school. Typically, your senior year would be filled with many wonderful events and special times that can only happen during your senior year. Little did any of us know that our time together would end on March the 13th. I want to compliment each of you on the fortitude and resolve that you have displayed during the last two months of this school year. You have demonstrated the personal traits of grit and resilient character to finish the school year strong and I'm sure that you will remember this experience as a life experience that has made you stronger for the future. At this time, I would like to congratulate each member of the class of 2020. Your hard work and determination during the past 12 years has allowed you to earn your high school diploma today. You should be proud of your accomplishments and use them as your foundation as you begin to establish your life after high school. Know that as a school community, we wish you the very best as you move to the next phase of life. At this time, I ask that the class of 2020 to please stand. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Indiana and the Cloverdale Board of School Trustees, I am pleased to officially declare you graduates of Cloverdale High School. You may turn your tassels. Congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs>
like to marry you for almost a year, but I know it's a really good friend, and I hope to see some of you after all of this is done. Words cannot express how truly devastated I am that our senior year ended this way, but I hope all of you will experience excitement for this next chapter in our lives. If this obstacle is meant to teach us anything, it's to stop putting life on hold. Don't wait for the next opportunity to go out and grab it. Just remember that you're always going to be worth it. Thank you. Well, congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, sorry we can't all be together, and I am thankful to be a part of this class. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hope you have the best future possible. Good luck to the class of 2020. I know you will do great, and I love you all. I hope you guys have a great rest of your year, and it works out for you. I'm sorry we didn't get to all graduate together, but I love all of you. Uh, to my class, I love you guys so much, and I miss you all, and I'm so sad that I haven't been able to see you guys. And I, I missed these past three months, and I wish we could get them back. <laughs> we cry. I can't wait to see you guys at our class reunion, because it's going to be the best yet. I love you. Hey guys, it's Emily. I'm really sad I don't get to see you. I miss you all very much, and I hope I get to see you guys Friday. I can't wait, and it's gonna be great. Thank you. Hey guys, congratulations, we did it. Hey guys, I'm gonna miss you guys, and I'm so thankful I could come back for my senior year. Cashing out, boy. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey guys, it's been a long 12 years. Uh, some of you I met along the way, and some of you I know my whole life. Um, it's been, it's been real. It's been, it's been an experience coming here to Coldwell High School. I might miss some of you guys, some of you guys I didn't even know that much, but uh, I wish you all have a good life and yeah, if it's nothing to go back, I'll see you later probably. Thank you to um, all my classmates, especially Haley, Abby, Adam, and Eric. You guys have made moving to Cloverdale a new school uh, so much easier than it would have been without you. you. It's just a very welcoming community and I'm very glad to be graduating from here. Congrats class of 2020, we got through this together. Hopefully we can see each other soon. Um, hey Cloverdale class of 2020, I just want to say that I can't thank God enough for giving me this day and letting me be able to share this moment with my family and my classmates. I know that we're all not together today, but I just wish we could be. I just want to say no matter what, if what you're going through, you can always come to talk to me and I'll be your friend. No matter how hard it may get or how hard the days may be, I will always be there for you. I just want to say thank you to all the people that have influenced me and helped me throughout my high school career. And if you ever need me, I'm just a call or a text away. Trey's out. Congratulations, other class of 2020. Hope it's as good as this one. That's crazy. Ha ha ha. You know, got my masks now, but it's okay. It's one to remember. Yeah, we lost out on a lot of things, but we got more going. Have fun. Class of 2020, thank you for the memories, and I can't wait to see where you guys go in the future. Y'all are great. See ya. Class of 2020, it's been a crazy four years. Uh, I wish it didn't have to end the way it did. But uh, I guess we're the champions of senior skip today, right? But uh, I'm gonna miss everybody, and I just have fun with y'all, y'all. So thank you. Hey, class of 2020, it's Morgan here. I miss all you guys so much, and I wish we could have finished this year together. I hope you all do well in your future endeavors. Class of 2020, we did it. Hey guys, uh, thanks for a great year. I know it didn't turn out the way uh, wanted to, but man, we made memories. These last four years have been the best thing. I've grown so much, matured so much, and we all have together. Thanks for everything. Hey there, class of 2020. Uh, it was a great year, and I'm definitely going to miss you all. And, uh, I hope you all are the best in life, and of course, Terry Dawson says hi. And that's it. I just want to say good luck on your future endeavors. Congratulations, everyone, for graduating, even though this pandemic's going on. And thank you guys for always being down to party or have fun during this year, even with everything going on. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you for making this year so great, and congratulations for graduating th during this tough time. You're all amazing, and you made this year so wonderful. Hello, class of 2020. I just want to let you know that the $5 Chalupa Taco Bell box is delicious, and you should get it. 
Congrats to the class of 2020. Can't wait to see where everyone goes. We'll miss you guys. Hi guys, it's Sam. I just wanted to say I'm super duper proud of all of you guys. I'm so proud of the people that you've all become. I've had the pleasure of watching all of you grow up for the past 13 years, and I cannot wait to start this next chapter of our lives. This is not goodbye, this is simply see you later. <laughs> all right, thank you Florida High School for a great five years here. It's been, uh, it's been very memorable. I'm gonna try not to cry right now, but yeah. you guys really are a family and I love you all. Hey class of 2020, it's OJ. I just wanted to say, say, say thank you. Thank you for all the memories you've given to me. 10 to 15 years down the road, when I look back at high school, I remember playing hide and seek outside of the middle school and Miss Hoffman dressing up as a cat. Not all the homework and test. Thanks for making the best out of anything, even a world pandemic. I'll see you guys later. What do I say? What have you got for your class? Well, I spent a lot, many a year here, uh, my entire school year, and I can thoroughly say the last two years of my entire school career has been the most fun. Um, with that being said, there's definitely been a lot of changes since we started school here. A lot of people left, a lot of people come. Uh, yeah, here's to hoping a better life. Class of 2020, even though this isn't how we planned, I'm glad we got to celebrate. Everyone, I missed you so much, and I'm so happy we've graduated, and we did it. I just want to thank all my classmates. You guys were the best. Thanks for all the help. I want to start off by saying congratulations. We did it, and I'm happy to be part of this class. I'm very thankful for everyone who's graduating with me today. You guys were very, so very welcoming and open-hearted. I was terrified to start here, and you guys made it a whole lot easier. I'm sorry that you guys can't be here right now, and I just want to thank you, and I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, I've never been one for speeches, so goodbye. Hey guys, Camry. We made it this far. Hope you guys keep pushing. We got this. Love you all. Congrats, 2020! Okay, I'm ready. Let the party begin. It was a good year, guys. I didn't get to know, you very, know many people here, but it was fun. I appreciate you all. Have a good life. What's up, guys? It's Harley. Uh, it was a fun year with all y'all. Uh, don't forget, face adversity. Chance is my dog. Um, I love you all. Thanks for the memories. Peace out. Congratulations and thank you for making these four years fun. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Um, uh, see you guys later in life. Thank you, class of 2020. <laughs> see you later. I didn't think I'd make it, but I'm here. It's been a fun journey. I'll cherish these memories, and may the force be with you. This isn't how we wanted to end our senior year, but we're all stronger because of it, and I can't wait to see where we all end up in life. Hey, guys. I'm so proud of all of us. Uh, I can't wait to see where life takes us. Congrats. Hey guys, thanks for an awesome four years. I wish you all the best in everything you do. Love you all. Hey guys, thank you for the memories and I wish everyone was here. Thank you guys for an awesome year. You weren't supposed to go out this way, but everything happens for a reason. I wish you all the best. See you guys. I want to start off by saying thank you for being so inviting and welcoming when I first moved here. I love all the memories that I made with you guys. You're the reason saying goodbye is so hard to do. With this part of our lives coming to an end, a new part is just beginning. I wish you all the best in your futures wherever they may take you. I hope the next chapter of our lives is everything you've ever hoped and wished for. I'm proud of us. Congratulations, we did it. I just want to thank you guys for the best senior year and what we really had and all the memories that we had throughout the school year and our childhoods. I'll cherish them forever. Thank you so much. Thank you for being my absolute best friends. I'm so thankful to met each and every single one of you. I can't wait to see how successful everyone is, and I believe in every single one of you. Love you. Happy 2020. Happy 2020. Thank you, Cloverdale, for four amazing years. I love and miss you all so much. Deuces, sailor. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Caden. I'm uh, happy that we're all graduated, and I hope yeah. that we're all successful in our futures, and uh, that's it. Hey guys, it's Alita. I'd like to say thank you guys for welcoming me into your class of 2020. I know I moved here sophomore year, but I want to thank you guys for everything you guys have included me in and asked me to be a part of. Love ya. We did it. All right, this uh, quote my brother made for all this stuff happening. 
We've been through worse hardships before. We can get through this one too. It may be a while before it's all over, but all we need to do is be patient and count the, th the days until things return to normal.